Hi comrades, happy Friday. In today's video we're going to be discussing a new Adams Family adaptation called Wednesday, which was directed by Tim Burton, and why it was kind of bad. <coughs> if you're new here, I usually do horror movies, horror series, and horror book reviews, but today's video is going to be uh, pretty much the same as what I usually do, except first I wanted to tiny little apology to you guys for not posting for a whole month. Um, I have a pretty good excuse. First of all, I've been binge watching Game of Thrones, finished all of it, all eight seasons, even though it feels like I've, we've been robbed of a couple of episodes in the end there, but this video is not about that. And then I got sick, <laughs> and I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm still sick, and it's just, you know, icing on top of the cake. It's raining outside in Los Angeles, which is just great, and I think this is the perfect weather to talk about Wednesday and why the show kind of sucked. Luna, do you have to clean yourself right now? Can you stop, please? No, don't scratch me. Stop it. So if you don't know who the Adams Family is, because, I don't know, like, last adaptation was released in the 90s and Nick didn't really know anything about them, um, which is kind of weird, because I thought he would... Uh, basically, the Adams family are just like a bunch of weirdos, and they're all are very dark and like they have like a dark sense of humor, and they don't like I don't know. Nick kept saying that they're like vampires or witches or something, and they're not. They're just regular people that are just weirdos, and they're like gothic. Anyways, so the mom and dad, her name is Morticia, his name is um, Gomez, so Morticia Adams, he calls her Tish in the show, which is kind of cute. Um, they have a daughter, her name is Wednesday. They named her Wednesday because it's like a, a woe child is born on a Wednesday, and she was born on Friday the 13th actually, but they still named her Wednesday. She's like this dark little rain cloud, as her dad calls her, and she loves everything evil and everything bad and everything dark um she's my spirit animal luna please stop cleaning yourself stop it stop she basically i don't want to say she's selfish but she kind of is like she only cares about her um like she only cares about her needs and wants if that makes sense in like a funny evil way so when I heard that Tim Burton is going to be directing a spin-off called Wednesday, just about Wednesday, I was super excited. And then after watching it, I was like, what the frick did I watch? By the way, I don't have a script for this video. We're just going to ramble, as I usually do, and we're just going to let my thoughts flow. <laughs> if they can, because I'm, I'm like so congested in my head that I don't even know if I can think. So let's go ahead and start with what the show did right because they're i mean it's not all bad okay so the actors that were casted were really great first of all jenna ortega that plays wednesday she's awesome the way that she portrays wednesday and she has her own little spin then um the principal she was brienne of tarth in game of thrones and i was so pleased to see her right after finishing game of thrones and honestly she looks so beautiful and she was so awesome and by the way this video is gonna have hella spoilers she dies at the end in like the most random freaking way possible what else did the show get right i don't know the outfits the things that it didn't get right i have a whole list the chemistry between morticia and gomez like the adult versions because there are some throwbacks that the show goes into is atrocious i don't even understand why they're together at all like why these actors were casted when they have no chemistry and also the fact that Wednesday and her mom don't get along is kind of weird because like in the original I understand that she's a teenager and she's like going through things or whatever but like she's not supposed to be emotional that's like her whole thing so why the frig does she hate her mom all of a sudden the whole thing how the show is kind of like a murder mystery or like just a mystery of like what's going on for some reason wednesday is on the good side you would think that wednesday would try to like find out who the murderer is and like help them or something like accomplish their goal or like i don't know destroy the school because she hates the school so much it's just like why is she good all of a sudden then there's the whole thing how she's in a freaking love triangle why the frick is wednesday into boys all of a sudden like 
why couldn't she just have friends speaking of boys her friend eugene probably has the worst line delivery on the entire show it's like watching a nickelodeon show or like a disney show where the actor i don't know it's just so weird mom i've gotta go wednesday's my only friend and if she's in trouble i've gotta help her it's hive code the ending like i literally did not understand the ending okay we're gonna get into really big spoilers right now so there's like this whole beast thing that's going around killing everybody wednesday's trying to figure out who the beast is turns out that the beast has a master so she's actually looking for two people um guess who the beast is the boy that she kissed i also don't understand how she didn't figure out that it was him because on the dance when she did like the whole dance routine she bumped into him and she had a vision and she only gets visions when she touches something so why didn't her like why didn't it click in her brain that on that dance floor when she touched something that's what triggered the vision and he's the beast they're called the hide by the way which is just like okay so the boy that she kisses the beast guess who the master is her biology teacher that's apparently like a dead descent that's apparently a descendant of this dead guy that was trying to get rid of like the whole outcast community and the outcasts are now in school so she like so she like gets in the school to kill all of them and then she steals a book of goody adams which is wednesday's ancestor and for some reason the book explicitly tells her how to resurrect this other evil ancestor which doesn't really make any sense like why would the book tell you how to bring back the evil guy that you put in the casket do you know what i'm saying like why why are there like point by point instructions on how to bring them back if anything it should be like at least convoluted or something not that easy as she's like driving away from the school because the semester is over obviously because they defeated the freaking hide so the semester ends like it's like you know the timeline how it should be like more realistic it's not oh my goodness as she's driving home with her little frankenstein butler whatever his name is um she gets text messages and somebody's talking to her so i guess that's like a vision into season two which i don't really understand but like whatever so yeah i thought the show was pretty cool to like look at but when you start to think and like nitpick just a tiny little bit things start to not make sense i'm still really mad how morticia and wednesday like hated each other how morticia and gomez barely had any chemistry also you know how wednesday had a thing with that guy she had a better chemistry with thing which is like the hand that runs around by her um and then there was like a scene where tyler who's that guy he's like i thought we had chemistry and like i thought you were giving me signals and oh excuse me he was like i thought you were giving me signals like what those signals that you were giving me and she literally doesn't give any signals all she does is just like stare and tell him to like do stuff so like boy what are you thinking for some reason the more i talk the more congested i get and i really hope this video makes a little bit of sense and if it doesn't then that's fine i just wanted to post something because it's time because i haven't posted in a whole month um hopefully i'll be posting more fingers crossed i have some books that i'm reading for book versus movie reviews um and yeah if you like the adams family and you don't want your dreams to be crushed don't watch wednesday that's kind of why i kind of like held off on watching it um but i don't know it was once again it was cool to look at but it was not that great like the plot was not that great also tim burton directed only half of the season like the first four episodes and then somebody else directed the other four episodes but the thing is that there's not really much of a difference between the two like you can't tell who directed what which brings me to think that tim burton didn't really put that much into the show like when you watch the show you can't really tell that it's by tim burton it's kind of giving like riverdale or sabrina whatever whatever that netflix show that i've never seen vibes um of like high school drama that's like a mystery that's trying to be dark and 
mysterious and with killings and supernatural things but then this just kind of like turns into Riverdale anyways I really hope this makes sense um I'll see you in my next one thanks for watching comrade I thought we liked each other I mean call me crazy Wednesday but you keep giving me these signals